So this is Adrian for ESCplus.com, uh, live from Tallinn, Estonia, Sakus Urhal final for ST Level 2019 with Viktor Krone uh, singing the song Storm uh, tomorrow in the final. Nice to meet you, Victor. Trebia Trefas. Uh, nice to meet you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> how was the first rehearsal today? It was an open rehearsal for us. We could see how it mm -hmm. goes. It was similar to what we saw in Tartu. Yes. How do you feel about it? Uh, I feel very good. Like, I feel the pieces are getting there and the voice is much better this time. So, I'm very happy. There's some, a few adjustments, of course. There always is. Mm -hmm. I'm an artist, I guess. There's always nothing. Yep. So, uh, but I, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm looking forward for, for tomorrow. Okay. Well. And how are you getting to improve, like, this kind of things? And how much... Did did you wanted the performance to be as similar as it was in Tartu for the final? H how much I wanted to change? or, or no? Yeah, how much, how, what did you decide to keep and what did you decide from the performance in Tartu? Uh, Is it going to be the same or? Yeah, well, maybe keep some, some surprise. Yeah, but, but mainly it's going to be the same. There's a few changes, uh, but mainly the same things. Okay. Uh, I get some aces in my rock sleeve, I guess. But uh, I'll leave that for tomorrow. Okay. Yes. So how are you? Like, how do you feel here in Estonia? Because you're Swedish, mm -hmm. and uh, the Estonian public seems to be receiving you with open hands, yeah. open arms, and everything. How yeah. are you feeling the love from them? Overwhelming, actually. Uh, and hopefully, it's not just because the ST love, but I, but uh, I've made a lot of new friends, and uh, it. it Kind of feels like a second home because yep. I've been here so much now. Okay. Uh, I, like before Estilal, I, I wrote songs to different artists here and to myself. So it's been an like ongoing process for like a couple of years okay. now. Okay. Tell so. us a bit more about this story behind like Victor working for Estonian people yeah. and with Estonian people yeah. and your collaboration with the Stigrasta for this song. Tell us a bit more about yeah. it. Yeah. It actually all started in Stockholm, Sweden, uh, where. Um, Stig was on a songwriting like tour, I guess, and we met for one day and really connected. Uh, pr yeah, and we wrote a song, and then he invited me over here to Tallinn. Mm -hmm. And since then, it's just been back and forth for me. He haven't been to Sweden again, but uh, I'm the guy who travels. But they have an amazing studio here, and um, yeah, so it's that. That's it. That's it. Great. Yeah. Okay, and how much uh, does it, this experience um, differ from the one with the Robin Interford in 2015 in Melody Festival and, oh. and with uh, the one in 2018 yeah. with Storm? Yeah. How much yeah. it, it differs for you and mm. what does... I think I've changed a lot as a, like a person. At that time I was really shaky, I guess, and uh, not that as, as experienced. I feel like more calm now and it's not the end of the world. Like it's more to have fun mm -hmm. and like to promote my music like Eurovision is about, have fun and like do your thing so I feel uh, yeah I'm just grateful and uh, as I said very happy that the Estonians seem to to like me as much as I like them how much like uh, are the press the Swedish press uh, getting the news that you are taking part in here and like in there in, in Sweden I don't know we should oh, ask my okay. management guy are they <laughs> but I, I, I think they uh, they starting to like recognize Sweden just started with their own uh, semi-finals as you may know uh, but I think people has uh, it's going great on the radio in Sweden so of course people are it's a bus okay yeah. and will you be open to enter Melody Festival in this, uh, not this year uh, yeah, sorry <laughs> in the upcoming years uh, I don't know I, I'm focused for this now okay. uh, but uh, like I've had, like, to be honest, I had so much more fun in the Estilal than I had in the Melodifas as well. Okay. It's probably because, well, I mean, it's, it's been like four years, but uh, one thing, like, artists? yeah, and I guess I've changed, and I think, like, all the other artists, while, while, while when you're backstage and everything, everyone is so nice, hey man, and, and like, we talk with each other, mm -hmm. and like, oh, you have a good song, and like, I didn't really feel that when I did the Melodifas Okay. Uh, there's more, uh, but uh, yeah. You're tipped as one of the favorites. Actually, I have to tell you that everyone is commenting and uh -huh. there's some kind of polls and, and bettings and stuff yeah. that you are now the yeah. top artist like in order uh -huh. to win this competition tomorrow. Mm -hmm. What does this? Does it put so much pressure on you? Or uh, I actually haven't read anything. I, I hear it from you guys, but I did like just to... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, if, if it goes all the way, I'm really happy. But uh, I think all the polls and everything, it's been like, if you know, like past years, they've always been like, this guy's going to win and then it doesn't happen. Like, it's all because it all matters what everyone does on the stage tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It's like back to the hockey game. Like, the performance tomorrow is going to make who uh, going to decide who wins the, wins the okay. Yeah. Okay. And um, I don't know, how much are you like, um, in order to win this competition, you are like most on having fun or 
what is your approach uh, on, on this competition tomorrow? Huh? On how well are you taking the news that if you win, you go to Tel Aviv to Eurovision? That would be amazing, like to go there. But of course, it's a mix of everything. Like this is an experience that I'm gonna remember for all my life. Mm -hmm. And of course, mm -hmm. it's a career step as well to get my music heard. And and uh, so it's uh, I th I, fifty fifty, I would say. Okay. Uh, yeah, keep it fun and keep it uh, work. Business. And in so case you win, how are you going to be like prepared for the experience there in Israel? I probably I won't, <laughs> but okay. I have a couple of months, I guess, before. But uh, yeah, I try not to. I I'm focusing on tomorrow, and then we'll see. Okay. But I heard Tel Aviv is a cool place. Okay. Have yeah. you received any news from uh, like uh, any of the previous singers from Estonia or from Sweden? Did they give you any tips? Any any? Did you have any messages from them? Did they tell you something about your yeah. performance or something? Well, I've been working this is close with Stig Resta, and he's done uh, yeah everything. In the, he will in 2015. Yeah, yeah and he will, went with Jury as well to Stockholm. Yeah. So he has a lot of experience and good tips for me to like take in. That's been very useful, and uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm really happy to hear that you have a great team working behind you. I mean, it's yeah, uh, I'm happy. You're happy, yeah. man. I get happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I yeah. personally like really much the song. So okay, um, like that. I think it's going to be uh, a really good thing if, uh, in case uh, you win uh, the competition tomorrow. Thank you. Thank so um, yeah, I want you to send any. If you want to send any message to our viewers on escplus.com, feel free to do it now. All right. Uh, un dos tres. Hola. Uh, what do we know? I don't know much Spanish words, but uh, thank you guys for uh, sending some love and uh, hope to see you in Tel Aviv, hopefully. Hello guys, this is Victor Krom here in Saku Sural, preparing for tomorrow's uh, big show, uh, Estilo. Uh, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support and hope you're watching tomorrow at 7, 6, 8, maybe it's 8, I guess. Uh, so uh, thank you, like that.